Less than a year ago, we were here in Wuppertal, Germany to tour Walkner's Performance S Motorhome with a supercar garage. That video now has over 13 million views and it clearly shows us that a lot of you are intrigued by that motorhome. Now, nine months later, here we are back in Wuppertal and this time we're touring their new updated Performance S model with a rooftop deck and a new extended hypercar garage, which I cannot wait to show you what's inside. Priced around 2 million euros, it's one of the best motorhomes out there. And now, let's go have a look. We're gonna start our tour on the outside. Motorhome looks beautiful, two-tone color combination, massive windshield here, and if you look closely, there are no gaps on the body parts, so it seals very nicely, it's super quiet inside. Two side mirrors with cameras, and then we have the center camera here, more cameras around the RV for that 360 view. Looks very modern, and last year's model, or the previous model that we toured, had a generator here, but this one doesn't have it because the solar system and the batteries in this motorhome are so good that you don't need a generator. And we'll cover that detail later in the tour. Now, coming this way, this is where we have the main entry. We'll talk about this detail later. Two-tone color combination. I love this stainless steel trim that they have that runs the length of the motorhome. And here we are at the center garage. Now, this center garage, is amazing. This time they have a hypercar here. This is a $3.7 million LaFerrari. And yes, it fits inside of this motorhome, which is crazy. Now, before we continue our tour, I want to mention we have Dal behind the camera. Dal, say hi. Guten Tag, everybody. Mikey, unfortunately, couldn't come to Germany because we were only here for 36 hours. And we literally came here to shoot this amazing motorhome and he had to stay back in LA with the team so we can continue producing episodes for you guys. And yeah, if you guys enjoy our videos, just make sure to give us a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Now, back to this hypercar garage. Previous model opening was around 4.5 meters. This one is around 4.75 meters. So it's a little bit longer and thus it allows them to place this incredible hypercar. There are only 500 of these in the world, and this one happens to slide into this motorhome. The entire patented system is same like the last model that we toured. Basically, you have a steel floor plate, and with the help of hydraulics, it slides into the motorhome, and it raises so it sits flush with the car, which is just incredible. The entire garage is heated, and on top of that, we have a motorized awning that is 2.7 meters long five meters wide, push up a button, you can kick out the awning, and on the arms of the awning, we have LED lighting, and it's just a great addition to this garage because you can use this steel floor plate or the steel floor assembly as your outdoor seating area, push up a button, you can put all your furniture back into the motorhome. Now coming this way, we have the first storage area here, great place for you to put your barbecue and other stuff. Above that is the rooftop terrace, which we'll see later in the tour, and wrapping around on the back, we have the engine. Let's go have a quick look. This is a Volvo engine that is 460 horsepower, but this one is modified up to 530. It's great that it's located on the back because it's easy to maintain. On top of that, it makes the cockpit really, really quiet. And it also gives you a great turning radius since the engine is located on the back, not on the front. Now, Wrapping around, let's go check out the left-hand side of this motorhome. We have few access doors to the storage areas. This is where we have the main slide out. This slide out is 50 centimeters wide, 10 meters long, provides additional five square meters to the overall 35 square meter layout of this motorhome. And on this side, we have the 400 liter diesel tank. Then you have a 770 liter fresh water tank. 650 liter wastewater, 330 liter black water, and you can access them on this side. 
Coming here on our left, we have an additional storage area underneath the driver's side, and the overall dimensions of this motorhome are 12 meters long, two and a half meters wide, 3.85 meters tall. It's definitely a big vehicle. This particular model is priced around 2 million 11,000 euros, and Performance S model starts around 1.56 million euros. Now, this is where we have the main door. First off, look at the way it sounds as I close it. It sounds like a G-Wagon, I love it. This is a very, very sturdy door. And if you look closely, this is where we have the main latch and then you have additional two locks here, so it's very solid. It's wrapped with Alcantara on the inside, chrome handle with LED light, and we have the steps taking us in. Let's go inside. This is where we have the cockpit. Looks beautiful, Alcantara and leather throughout. Stitching here matches the exterior color of the motorhome. Seats are gorgeous. Again, diamond pattern, leather wrapped. Dal, why don't you take a seat right here? I'm gonna take a seat on the driver's side. Super comfortable. These seats are ventilated, heated, and look at the controls here. It looks like they came out of a Bentley, and obviously you can pretty much control it any way you want. Dal, don't be jealous, you have the same controls as well. And here we are on the driver's side. Again, you have your massive screen here where you control all the functions of this motorhome, slide out, sliding, all that good stuff. This motorhome also has a lane assist, emergency brake, uh, adaptive cruise control, all the technical stuff. Super comfortable here. I can totally see myself driving one of these. Massive windshield gives you an amazing view. Upper cabinets, LED lighting. We also have blackout shades here. And who knows, maybe later today they will let me drive this thing for a little bit because I would love to. Me and Dell actually talk about motorhomes all the time. I can totally see myself buying a motorhome. Maybe not this size. This one is a little pricey for me, but uh, again, beautiful space. Now, right behind me, we have the seating area. This seating area comes with a day bed, all leather, super comfortable, looks very sleek. And on the other side, we have a pop-up TV that's built into the cabinetry here. Paneling is all oak and we have a beautiful reveal detail with LED lighting and this orange matches the exterior color of the RV. Behind the TV we have a double glazed awning window and on top we have a screen. On the bottom we have a blackout and throughout the cabinetry here we have built-in speakers. Some are built into the cabinetry, some are mounted to the wall just like this one because the owners of this RV love listening music and that's why we're gonna see the built-in speakers and this crazy surround sound system throughout this motorhome. Also, I wanna mention the slide out that we saw on the outside plays a huge role for the interior square footage and even when it's collapsed, you still have plenty of room to move through the space. Now, on the walls, we have green Alcantara and they've even wrapped the trims around the windows with the same Alcantara, which is super exquisite. LED lighting underneath the cabinetry and going this side, we have the kitchen, purple carpet on the floors. I love that they brought the wood trim details to the floors as well. And it brings you to your kitchen area, bar seating on this side, dual elevation, wood countertops, your induction cooktop, sink right next to it. And in front of this section, we have another awning window opening up to the outside. This is a super cool detail, Del. Dishwasher drawer. First of all, it's super modern. Second, you don't have to bend down to take out your dishes. It's so nice that it's right next to your sink also. By the way, they have carpet on the ceiling because it's perfect for sound insulation. It makes perfect sense. It's actually super, super quiet inside of this RV right now. And you have rest of your base cabinets on this side. Over here, you have your open display, LED lighting. These shelves and racks are perfectly cut for your glassware. And on the bottom, you can see these wood dowels perfectly holding your plates and bowls in place. Now, around the corner, we have the paneled fridge here, your oven set up on the other side, small wine fridge that fits the space perfectly, and below that, we have this cabinet here, that's your pantry, super, super cool, and that's pretty much it for your kitchen. Now, going this way, we have a pocket door here, sealing off the bathroom, both from the bedroom and the kitchen, 
super, super spacious. On my left hand side, we have the base cabinets. Again, the same orange reveal detail with LED lighting. Your composite sink, chrome fixtures, upper cabinets, mirror on this side, mood lighting above. And on this side, we have the open shower. Now this bathroom is really unique because the way it's designed is all about this opening right here. This is your skylight, but this is also how you get up to the rooftop terrace because they have an attachment here where you lock your ladder and that's how you get up there. We'll check out that space later. We have this wall basically closing this way. And this is where you have your shower head, chrome fixtures, your toilet that is heated and has all the functionality you need. Oh, I gotta show this detail. Can we get a close up? It said Dornbach fixture. They have the Walkner branding on the shower head. Now, that's pretty much it for your bathroom. Vanity on this side, open shower here. We have another pocket door opening up to your bedroom. This bedroom is very spacious. They brought the same purple tones also here with the carpet and the bed sheeting. This is a queen size bed and with a push of a button, you can actually raise this bed and utilize the space underneath it as a storage. On this side, we have the leather wrapped headboards and you can actually adjust these headboards for your comfort. Mood lighting throughout, Alcantara on the walls. And on this side, we have the built-in cabinetry for extra storage, same reveal detail, another pop-up TV, another awning window, bringing natural light to the space. And it's just a cozy bedroom. All these doors open up to your built-in closet where you can hang your clothes and store them, all that good stuff. And lastly, we have a screen here for your AC controls. And this low button right here is your panic light, meaning if you're in the RV and you can hear someone walking around your RV and you wanna warn them a little bit, you just press this button here and it turns on all the lights on the outside. So I wanted to mention that. It's a very, very comfortable bedroom, but this RV doesn't end here because above us, we have an amazing rooftop terrace. This is where we have the seating area. It's actually quite spacious, the entire width of this motor home. And the railing system here is very unique. These are all solar panels, and this motor home can produce up to 2000 watts of energy. And that's how they power this incredible vehicle. And once you're not using the patio, you can actually unlatch these walls, fold them down and keep your solar panels operating when you're driving. And you may ask yourself, what would you do with a space like this? Well, think about it. Every time you drive your motor home or you go somewhere, you're probably at a scenic place. And it's nice to have four meters of elevation above ground level so you get better views. It's nice and private up here. And why not? Space like this just makes more out of your motorhome. And I really appreciate that. Now, let me take you guys to the other side. We have this opening from the bathroom, bringing you up to the rooftop deck. And we have more solar panels here, one above the driver's side, one right here. And in between, you can see the air conditioning units, pop-up antenna for your satellite TV. We have the 5G antenna between the solar panel and the air conditioning unit. And yeah, beautiful motor home. And what's left is we should take this thing out for a ride. Just like the last time, we have Max on the driver's seat. I'm on the passenger side, enjoying the ride. We have this gorgeous view, massive windshield, and inside of the cabin is super, super quiet. Ride is very, very comfortable. These seats are awesome. And who knows, maybe one day I buy myself one of these. It would be so cool to have a motorhome like this. That wraps our tour for this week's episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and if you want more information on this motorhome, check out the links in the description. Big thanks to Walkner family for making this tour possible, and we'll see you guys next week.